Hi, my name is Anand Hasbi, and I'd like to wish you a warm welcome to this episode of Rambling of an Analyst. In today's episode, we're going to talk a little bit about benchmarking. And amongst the reason why I think benchmarking is very important is twofold. Number one, we want to compare our returns against, I guess, more seasoned fund managers over here in Malaysia. And let's see how much they got during a certain time period. The second thing, which I think is more important, is we want to look at the investment style for some of these more experienced fund managers. That way, we can learn. And the hope is the more we learn, the more returns we will get in our portfolio in the coming months or the coming years ahead. Okay, so to find a tabulation of the funds available over here in Malaysia, you can go to this particular website, which is fsm1.com.my. So just a little backstory, this was, I think, called Fund Supermart at one time. So to get the tabulation for the funds available over here in Malaysia and to get their performance, let us go to this button over here, which says Funds. And the next place we should go is Fund Selector. Once we are at Fund Selector, let us see the best performers for the past maybe six months. And over here, we can see some of the funds which gave a whopping 77% during the past six months. To figure out what style or what stocks they bought to help push their particular fund, we can click at the fund like so. And over here, we can see the fact sheet. Let us scroll down real quick. And we can see that this fund managed to position themselves pretty well during the first lockdowns over here in Malaysia. And we can see that post the pandemic, it recovered quite nicely. To see what stocks they invest in, we kind of click this particular button which says Fun Fact Sheet. And in the Fun Fact Sheet, we can get the, I guess, the statistics for the fund over in the right hand side. Over here, it says that this fund is an aggressive growth fund. Uh, the investment risk profile is high so on and so forth. Okay, so once we scroll a little lower, we can see the funds sector allocation. The top allocation is the healthcare sector. And over here, we can kind of guess that maybe they bought some glove counters. And if we look down a little, these are the top holdings, top glove, supermax, and Bio pharma. Over here, we can see two out of three stocks are glove stocks. So, okay, so let's pick another two more funds and see whether we can learn some trends from their investment style. So the next top performing fund would be the Cuff Core Income Fund. We can click on it and we can click on Fun Fact Sheet. And over here, we can see the allocations on what they have invested in. And these are the largest holdings for this particular fund. The next fund we can look at is the RHB Capital Fund. And we can click on Fun Fact Sheet. Okay, so over here we can see that this fund enjoyed a sharp incline during the past couple of months. And when we scroll a bit lower, we can see that the sector allocation, uh, again, is the healthcare sector. And the top holdings are as follows. Uh, I think most of them are glove companies. So over here we can kind of see a particular trend. Funds invested in gloves tend to give really good returns during these past six months. In the next coming episodes, we're going to continue to learn, study, and ask the questions on how to improve our returns for our portfolio. Should you find this particular episode helpful, give me a bunch of thumbs up and do consider to subscribe. And with that, I hope to see you in the next episode.